Mm, excuse me, okay, recording again. Here's the absolute value functions, the connection between the four different representations. This is connection two between the piecewise equation and the graph. I want you guys to, if you get absolute value, always go to piecewise before you try to graph it because it's much easier to do this way. Okay, so piecewise, again, is just the two lines in point-slope form. If they're not in point-slope form, we're going to have to convert them, and we have other work to do if it's not in point-slope form. Remember what I talked about in the other video, our convention that's the right leg is going to be called the positive side. It doesn't matter if the slope is positive or not. We're just going to call the right side the positive side and the left side the negative side. Okay? So when they give you the piecewise equation or you find the piecewise equation, you should be able to find H and K, remember H always lies, and plot that point. Okay? The positive side will have that slope. So go to your vertex and graph up to over 1 and draw your line. The negative side will be the left side will have that slope. So it's negative 2, which you would go down here, but you got to remember it's this, it has the same symmetry as the right hand side, so you're just going to do opposite. That's a negative 2 slope right there. That could be a little confusing. So let's look at what happens if you're going backwards. Okay, let's say they give you the graph that you can find the vertex and you can count dots or count grids on the graph to find out what the slope is. The positive side is negative 3 slope that goes up here on top and is along with H and K in the vertex. Okay, now you have to remember that the negative side is whatever the slope is, just the negative number. You see how that slope is the same as that one, just this one's negative on the positive side, which means right side, and this one's a positive slope on the negative side. So this positive and negative in this case is just our naming convention so we can talk about the right or left leg of the absolute value. Okay, that's it.